started to unload her with a clusters of punches and he's in trouble here, Cruella. Big shots, left hook really troubled him. Anthony Cruella and the referees are only having a close look. Back end of the third, he's going to have to throw something back, he can't. Embarks on this so-called Mission Impossible. How does he go about it? He's been sparring with southpaws like Frankie Gavin and Jazza Dickens. He's had it tough in camp, but this is levels above. This is one of the great fighters of the last 10, 20 years in Lomachenko, who just seems to be getting stronger and better, and he wants more. Yeah, he does, Adam. He's improving all the time, Lomachenko. Which is a problem for Corolla, but corolla has got to expect the unexpected here. He's got to not get frustrated. You know, he's got to try different things out. He's got to have a game A, a game B, a game C. And I'm sure Joe Gallagher, who's a great tactician, would have worked on all these sort of things. And, um, yep, he's just got to see how he goes. He's got to go out there and enjoy this. Yeah, he's got an, an extremely tough task, but I think one of the keys will be to try and land some body shots. We've seen how good of a body punch a crawler is to try and slow Lomachenko down, but it's just trying to trying to land shots when Lomachenko's static. But, he, you know, he moves round you, he's got angles in abundance, and he's a great fighter. And, uh, Already springing in and out, beautiful footwork, Lomachenko, and he judges distance so perfectly, faints a great deal as well, and surprises you like a cat from all angles. The reflexes, terrific, Crawler with that high guard, and knows he's going to have embarrassing moments in there, but they have worked on that through camp, and I think it's a matter of getting through the first three or four rounds and trying to utilize some of those body shots and if anyone in any way he could put some sort of pressure on Lomachenko because Salido did show the way that if you can out hustle him and smother him a bit like maybe Castillo did with Mayweather you know and just take the fight to him it's whether Crawler's physically strong enough and whether he punches hard enough yeah not really Crawler's style unfortunately Crawler likes to move around the ring circulating around the perimeter of the ring picking shots like that the shots through the middle I think for Crawler I think his biggest opportunity here is Darren hit the nail on the head he needs to switch the attacks to the body and try and slow the attacks of Lomachenko down because you're right Adam the timing is impeccable from Lomachenko the way he moves his feet in and out is something that we've never seen before and um it's special it's beautiful to watch crawler is a good tactician though and has got plenty of skills he had to to get to where he has and he won that fight against dow your down to become the mandatory some people have said he doesn't deserve the chance disagree did everything asked of him beat ricky burns as well careful of those body shots those straight left hands through the middle and he's got to try and counter punch Lomachenko as he comes in but timing is the importance here second round for the former world featherweight world super featherweight and current and reigning world lightweight champion Vasil Lomachenko fight number 14 for the 31 year old who was one of the most outstanding amateurs there has ever been in with Anthony Crawler decent amateur but uh, has achieved more as a professional, has lost six times. Most worryingly, that uh, defeat at British level when he was stopped by Derry Matthews. But how he has rebuilt and learned from there. And it uh, shows how much a fighter can improve from roughness early on. That the loss to Yusuf Al Hamidi, the ice cream salesman and journeyman. You'd never believe. He went from Yusef Al Hamidi to Vasil Lomachenko. Well, look, it's what you take from defeat and what you learn from it. And Kronos learned lots from his defeats. And um, it was uh, a privilege to watch him win that world title. But again, he's up against it here. And he's in a position now where I don't want to see him. I don't want to see him getting pushed back and backed up into the corner to allow Lomachenko to, to pick the shots. You've got nowhere to move when you're on the ropes or in the corner. So. He's got to try and double up his attacks, Krola, try and push Lomachenko back and try and get him in the corner or on the ropes. But, you know, it's a, a very difficult task when you're fighting someone who has the foot movement and the foot speed that Lomachenko does. Yeah, Lomachenko's controlling this with his feet. 
Um, and I see what I see what Corolla's trying to do. He's trying to draw him in. We heard Gallagher saying try and get him on the right hook counter as he comes in, but that's that's easier said than done. Lomachenko's footwork is perfect at the moment. There was the body shot that Gallagher was talking about. That's what that's what, that was a sort of good sign there for Corolla. Yep, nice shot from Anthony Corolla there. And he's keeping his poise. But Lomachenko right in front of him, and he's not going to be worried about that as he goes through his routine. I see a lot more fainting as well from Krola. Try and get Lomachenko to lead and try and counter him. This oh. is good work. The variation there, body shots following up the uppercut. Lovely work. Sweet uppercut. And it followed the left hand a few seconds before that from Lomachenko. Finding the gaps now in the Crawler defence. And now Anthony Crawler's learning what it's like to be in with someone like Lomachenko. He wanted to test himself. And here begins the reality. How will he react? Yeah, Lomachenko is just pushing Crawler into each corner. Late on in the second, I think troubled Anthony Crawler just as he went back to his corner, Joe Gallagher. Kept everything uh, on the right lines. Paul Smith in there as well. Familiar faces to help Anthony Crotter. Lomachenko, as always, has his dad, Anatoly, in the corner with Igis Klimas and Ras Amber. It's a well oiled machine. Yep. And a well oiled fighter. Yep, not a bad start, though, from Crotter. You know, he's gone out there, kept nice and tight. He's. Not doing bad here, he's just trying to work a way out to figure Lomachenko out, he's trying to break through the guard, but Lomachenko is controlling all this at the moment, just with his feet. Look at the movement, in and out all the time. The distance is perfect. Oh, no, he's he's done that with the left hand. And again from Lomachenko, that's the wand that he utilises, the backhand from the southpaw stance. And now he's looking as though he wants a stoppage here. He's right on the front foot. And is there any chance of him looking past Crawler or not getting up for it? Not one little bit. That looks the complete opposite. It looks like he wants to make a real statement here. And you can see it. There's real spite in these shots. Look at that left hand. Beautiful shot. Crawler took it well. It's fantastic stuff by Lomachenko. Yep, shipping some big punishment here, Corolla. Those left hands through the middle and that body shot as well. The uppercut is really taking an effect now. He's been landing that from the opening bell, and this is troublesome times here for Corolla. Really upping the tempo, and Corolla tries to get back with a left hook of his own, and he's springing on his own feet, Corolla, but he's under sustained pressure here, and it's the skill set and the speed. And as Darren said earlier, levels in boxing. And Crawler, a good former world champion. But at the moment, he looks like he's in with an absolute superstar. Absolutely. I mean, he's showing why he's regarded as pound for pound number one. Going through the gears, the variation, you know, the tempo. You know, he doesn't stay at one pace. And there's a lovely right uppercut there, picking the shots well. Crawler's got weathered this storm now. Get away from them ropes, try and work his way back to the center of the ring. Yeah, the problem you got for Crawler is that Lomachenko is forcing him into each corner. He's using that footwork and now he's starting to unload with the clusters of punches and he's in trouble here, Crawler. Big shots, left hook really troubled him. Anthony Crawler and the referees are already having a close look. Back end of the third, he's going to have to throw something back. He can't. And he's giving him a count. The referee. A standing count. What's going on? Lomachenko thought it was all over. And the referee, Jack Rice, gave him a standing count. Well, all a little bit confusing in there, and the referees give him a lifeline there. Well, I didn't see him touch down. It's just strange. Strange from the referee there, but the only chance or hope that crawler has got now is that Lomachenko had punched himself out, but with someone of the the fitness, the speed, and, and the experience of Lomachenko, I doubt that's the case, and he's come out all guns firing, all guns blazing in this round again. Oh, it's all too much, this, for Anthony Crawler. He's brave, he's defiant, as we knew he would be. 
but his eye as well is reddened and the blistering array of Lomas Arsenal is on full display and a body shot as well here and the referee might have to make a more serious decision and that is to stop the fight or the corner but Crawler is going to go out fighting and he can't take it anymore down he goes inside the first minute of the fourth that is definitively the end of the fight and Vasil Lomachenko proves his utter class here comes back to lightweight that's another possibility then could he go up to welterweight and that's a huge division with Errol Spence and Terence Crawford who has a fight with Amir Khan next week there's so many more options remember he's an actual Ladies featherweight and gentlemen, we have extraordinary the time of fighter 58 seconds in round number four he is the winner by way of knockout and still the unified WBO and WBA lightweight champion of the world Vasily Lomachenko! A round of applause from Eddie Hearn. And I think we all 